hungry for you, my wife. Let me make you happy. As much as I appreciate what you do to make me happy. Not today, Edith. I'm still unsafe. Come, what is wrong with you? What's with all the attitude? What exactly is wrong with you, Julia? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I just told you I'm unsafe. You're getting worked up. Why are you getting mad over it? Why am I getting mad? What kind of married woman refuses to have sex with her husband because she's unsafe? Is it a crime for me to have sex with my wife during her unsafe periods? And get me pregnant? I thought we agreed to wait after marriage. We're not ready for kids, so... Point of you. correction. You are not ready for kids, not me. We agreed to wait for a year. This is two years. Two years plus. And you still want us to wait? For what? For me to grow grey hairs? Or for you to hit menopause? It's not a screaming matter, Edith. We agreed to wait after marriage. At this height of my career, I won't let pregnancy slow me down. And I'm not ready for that. Please, let's just wait till next year. Oga? You're completely unbelievable, you know. It's as if I'm in this marriage all by myself. Everything is about you. Your body, your career, you, you, you. What I want doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because that's the way you choose to see things. You're just being unreasonable. Whenever you want me to do things and I choose not to, you get mad and start screaming. Why can't you ever see things from my own perspective? Look, it's only normal that after marriage a couple should start a family. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's the way it's structured. Two and a half years after marriage, and you're still worried about looking good for your career and maintaining your shape. Is there any married man out there that would accept that? I have to memorize the timetable of your safe and unsafe periods. And the times that you're safe, it's either you're too busy or too tired, or just not in the mood after a little argument. Then maybe you should argue a little less often. If you want to make love after. Look, Julia, why do you have to use sex as a weapon every time? Arguments don't have to be bitter. We don't have to go to bed angry after a little fight. You're not my girlfriend, you're my wife. My wife. Let's just, let's just stick to using a condom for now. Please. I don't have a bloody condom in this house. I'm a married man! I can see that something or someone is confusing Julia into thinking she has the right to postpone having children. Marriage was instituted so couples could multiply and fill the earth. I didn't see where it said after some years, Abby. Wait, is it me or is it Julia that's getting this all wrong? Hmm. Mama, Mama, eh? that woman, eh? The woman is wonderful. Chai, all the ego. So, person day if you marry, can't talk saying no one picking. <laughs> when nothing doing, mom. If you see her, eh? Hmm. All her money, she just they use and buy dresses, they use and buy shoes. She no one born make any of her children come chop all her money. And the husband, they agree. Yeah. Me, I never see this kind of thing before. Chai! This is more modern generation to throw. Anyway, I'm happy for the money where she they pay you. And I thank God say, I get the king with the end of the 20,000 naira. <laughs> you see, if you fit work hard, eh? she fit in Christmas. Since they get plenty money now. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen to what? Chineke. Oga, um, I've been there talk to my mama for phone. I know here when you enter, sir. Sorry, sir. You don't have to apologize for being caught unawares. You didn't do anything. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so what are we having? I want to make ukang with cow legs, sir. Ukang? Yes, sir. Wow. You make me remember home. 
I can't remember the last time I had Ukang. It's been three years or so. I can't wait. Thanks, Esther. Ah, no, sir. You don't need to thank me, sir. Now, my duty to cook for you, sir. Anything where you want, just tell me I go cook them for you, sir. That's good to know. Thank you, Esther. Sir, just go sit on. I go cook them. No, 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 no. I go bring them for you, sir. Thank you. All right, my dear. Thank you so much for coming, Doctor. Thank you. That's okay. So we're scheduled to meet for the 19th, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Doctor. Doctor, I don't know. What do I do about this eating? I'm beginning to... Uh, like I'm, I'm piling on weight. <laughs> you just can't get over the salty, sugary and the starchy things, right? <laughs> See, Mrs. Zuko, don't stress yourself. You're pregnant. <laughs> when a pregnant woman needs to eat, she eats. Doctor, I eat when I don't even need to eat. Mrs. Uko, we have talked about this earlier on. But how about the other craving? <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. My husband won't have sex with me anymore. He says he doesn't want to hurt the baby. <laughs> sex at the stage of pregnancy for you is not harmful. Besides, I would strongly recommend it. Doctor, you need to say this again. Let me record it. That's my phone. I need you to say this. Oh, he needs to hear this. Do you, do you want me to talk to him? Please, I'd really love you to. Okay, fine. I'll call him. I'll talk to him. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, there you are, Esther. Uh, that was a delicious meal. Thank you very much. Thank okay? you, Oga. Yeah. Oga, I beg, I go put this one for your room. Oh, no, no. Just um, leave them on the ironing table. Uh, can I come and iron them later? No, sir. I don't iron everything off. Really? Yes, sir. Wow, that's really good. You, uh, Esther, you're really impressing me. You're a very hard worker. Thank you, sir. Eh? You know what? I'm very happy with you. Today, let me just give you a little something, okay? Okay, sir. Here, take this. And buy a recharge card or something, okay? Ha, Oga, this is plenty, you. No, don't worry. Thank you, oh? sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you to Esther. Thank eh? you, sir. Thank you. See the difference between a wife and a maid? I practically have to argue with my wife before I can get anything done in this house. Even in preparing my food. She nags about me wanting more garlic or more pepper. Says I'm selfish because she doesn't eat those. But you see now, with someone beneath you or someone who knows their place, it's easy. I ask for anything and she gets it done with the immediacy the chore deserves. See? And you wonder why some men prefer to swing the other way. Not that I will, but just so you know. 